Hey everyone, my name is Marco and back once again from my color screen. If you really enjoy customizing your Android phone but don't really know exactly what to do, well then, welcome to today's video tutorial. Let us begin. So today's home screen is a fantastic, cool, minimal, sleek looking design by PLQ called Minimal colorful or just minimal colorful and it is fantastic I just saw it while going through the my color screen site and I was like wow have to do a video tutorial on this It's fantastic for beginners as it's just a real easy setup. There's no confusing Photoshopping to be done or anything like that as well as it's good for the gingerbread fans out there as I'll be using SS launcher just because well why not this SS launcher? Great, so what can I say about this home screen besides it's got a great looking wallpaper, it's got that pixelated chat icon design that looks really good with those minimal white icons as well as that date and time as well as the you know, notifications and the weather that all combine to produce a fantastic minimal home screen. So if you'd like to recreate this home screen on your Android home screen, well then let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so as you can see today I'll be using SS Launcher just because I haven't done this or haven't used this launcher in a while and I know the gingerbread fans will appreciate it as yes it'll work on gingerbread. Also you don't have to worry about grid sizes or anything like that. So the first thing you want to do is hold down, remember you need the original or the paid version and you definitely want the paid version as this launcher is amazing is that you want to hold down on those labels and you want to select hide labels and apply changes. That'll make them disappear and now you want to get rid of all the other widgets that are there just by holding down on them and dragging them into the bin. Once that's done you want to select back on your home screen or just your menu and then go into your preferences and then you want to select full screen. Once you've done that you want to just select back and it should hide that notification bar at the top but don't worry you can if you still slide down it'll still appear so no worries about that. You're also welcome to go into your theme into your animation and then say change your your type of page sliding animation to flipping one which was shown in the video and I just think it looks cool and then you just select apply changes. Next what we're going to do is change the wallpaper. Great so for the wallpaper you just want to hold down on the home screen select your wallpaper and now you can either choose wallpaper or whatever you want to your gallery but I always prefer going into quick pick. From here you want to find that folder that you've copied onto your phone, remember you to do that and you can find that in the links below, remember that. So from here I'll be using my Nexus 4 so I just went for the 1 to 70, I mean the 720 by 1 to 80 and it makes it look like this which is cool because now you can select up and down, remember at once you want to select the entire width and you want to select the tick button which will now set the wallpaper for you like this. So for the UCCW widgets, very easy to do. You just want to hold down on the home screen. You want to select new widget. And then from here, as you can see, they've bumped up the how this little setup looks and it looks pretty cool. So from here, you want to find UCCW. There it is over there. And it doesn't really matter what size you choose, but I always like to go for one for SS Launcher that kind of looks the same as what it would do on the home screen. So if we had to add in the date time one, you just want to select say a two by one. And then from here you want to select use it at the top. From here you want to select time and date and then it's going to import it for you very easy and quick and simple. You just want to tap away from the screen and then select the hand again. From here you can now drag it into the place that you want and make it bigger like this. You can make it. What's great about that is that you can get it to exactly the way you want it. Next you want to be adding in the notifications at the bottom using the exactly the same method. So like I said, you'll be selecting notifications now. It's going to import it for you. And there it is, just tap away. Bring it like that. Now, as you can see, things aren't looking too good on the Gmail side. And that is because you still need to set up your Gmail account. Now to do that, it's really quite simple. All you'd want to do is tap on that UCCW skin. It's gonna bring up your UCCW editor. From here, you wanna select your background which brings up your select object menu and from here you want to select gmail1 you can't really see it now but it's all white here but you can pretty see what pretty much see what's going on from here you want to slide your controls across all the way to the last one controls number five from here you want to select your account 
once your account has been selected you want to select label and then inbox or whatever you want actually and then select back now what it should do is now set up your gmail account so it looks all fine and dandy and now you want to change your hotspots if you have no idea what those are you want to check out the uccw tutorials in the link below from here you want to bring up your editor once again and you can select background and like i said you can change your hotspots by just selecting the hotspots object now the author has been very kind enough as to really set those up for you such as for your dialer your messages and your gmail but like I said, if you don't like them, you're welcome to change them just by selecting hotspot and then changing the hotspot accordingly. Once you've got that all set up, you just want to select your menu here and you want to select lock widgets and then select on. It's going to turn on your hotspots, boom, just like that. So now tapping the calls will bring up your dialer easy and simple like that. Next, we're going to be adding in the beautiful widgets over here, which is very simple to do. Holding down the home screen, selecting new widgets. You want to select your beautiful widgets over here and you want to go for the one by one weather one which looks like this over here you're going to be selecting it you want to scroll across to your weather theme now that's going to this one's going to have to be downloaded i just went into get themes and it shows you all the different themes i just went all themes and i look for the one that it did on the home screen so i went for the one that was galaxy s4 which looks pretty good from here you want to scroll across to hide background and then turn it on so it boom just like that now I know you can change it into Fahrenheit or Celsius and change the weather location and all stuff like that but you can find that in the beautiful widgets app in the app drawer and it's really quite simple you just have to go into your menu and then into your settings from here you just want to select the tick it's gonna apply it for you just like that and as you can see it what's really cool about SS launcher is that it lines it up for you and you can even make it bigger or smaller using the handles Remember, if you're not too clued up on SS Launcher, we do have the complete guide. Like, as I said, look, you can even use this little fine movement over here, the little joystick, just so that it's right in the center like that. Great, so we're nearly done. We just need to add in the Google search as well as the app drawer at the top. Now, to do that, you just want to hold down on the home screen. You want to select new shortcut. First of all, for the Google search, you want to go type, and then you can say application. That's good. So you want to go target, and now you can either go Google search or whatever you want. I'm just going to stick with the Google app for now. From here, you want to select your style and you want to make it the icon that's just got, well, this shows the icon, nothing else. From here, you want to select icon and you want to select icon again. Now you want to select add an image. You want to go into your gallery or wherever you've copied or whatever gallery preference you like. And you want to go into that same folder. As you can see, it's got your search as well as your little app there. So I'm just going to select the search one and now you want to select it. Once the icon's been selected, I went into icon size because for some reason it didn't want to get any bigger. So I just put it, bumped up the size a bit of the icon size and I made it 250 by 250 and then went OK. Once that was done, I went down and selected apply changes and then apply change, apply settings from that. Now, if you hold down on it, you can now make it bigger or smaller using the handles and you can just place it up in the corner there. Remember, you can always use a little guider here to make it fine tune next we're going to be adding in the app one so well the app icon so you want to do exactly the same thing new shortcut type but now you're going to be selecting page because you want to jump to your app page so for target you want to select your applications page and then select ok from style you want to go into your style make it the exact same little plain icon there and next you want to go into your icon and then make your icon that other search one or the app one so you want to go add an image you want to go back into your gallery or your quick pick and from here you want to select your app one instead once that's done you want to select the app draw icon icon size now again i just made it a 250 by 250 just to make things easier and you want to select apply settings and then apply settings again it's going to be quite big so you're welcome to make it smaller just by holding down and adjusting these handles Great, so I think that looks pretty good. And to test things out, we can just select the app draw, goes into your app page like this. And then going back, we can say tap, tap the, the search and it brings up our Google search, Google now, just like that. And then we have a quick, minimal, very easy setup complete. 
Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our My Color Screen channel, please do so and leave a like, comment, as well as check out our Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter communities. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. This is Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing. So today's video tutorial is a fantastic minimal screen by PLQ called Minimal Great so f <laughs> But don't really know what to, what to make it look like. No. So, what can I say about the home screen? It's really fancy. It's got <laughs> so, what can I say about this home screen? It's got that fantastic, it looks like a pisc. piscalated. And as always, thanks for watching.